And then the fun part is when you get to see something. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we have a $200,000 microscope that's a, a nanoscope, an atomic force microscope. So we essentially drag a little phonograph needle over our structures that is laying, the structures are laying flat on mica, uh, which is atomically flat. This little phonograph needle, we bounce a laser off of it, and so we actually see the deflection of the tip in the way the laser beam moves. The stuff we're looking at is smaller than the wavelength of light, so you can't see it with a microscope. You have to actually touch it with this little phonograph needle to be able to see it. So it's very satisfying at the end of the day to, um, after we've cooked a little batch of some nanostructure, if we can go and look on the mica and we see that it made the square or the tetrahedron that we wanted to make. Um, so. It was interesting to work with a lot of nanostructures that I couldn't see. Um, so I had previously worked in a biomechanics laboratory where I could see all of the different parts that we were putting together and, and doing. And it was interesting to work in a lab that worked on the nanoscale where I had to trust that whatever I was doing was the right thing. And then maybe at the end of, say, eight, nine hours work, I would see something that would verify that. Or, you know, maybe it would show that I didn't do the right thing. Um, and so it was definitely challenging going through and, and making sure that every single step was meticulous. Otherwise, if I made one mistake, I might be throwing away a whole day's of work.